Oh, there's the red button. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our Summer Strong Challenge Group kickoff call. I put some makeup on for you guys so you didn't feel like you had to look at my scary face. <laughs> I still have my bathing suit on, which is a little bit of a contradictory thing here. Um, but I'm excited about this journey we are about to go on. Um, it definitely has been pretty life-changing for a lot of ladies. Um, and then there are some that... that <sighs> And I'm going to say this a billion times during the call. I can't work out for you. And I can't make sure every bite that you put in your mouth is what it should be. So a lot of this is going to be you. But I am going to facilitate, encourage, motivate, be a resource as much as possible. Um, it's myself and Nicola. Nicola is my assistant. And she's been with me for a while now. She's been with Beachbody for a very long time. So she's very familiar with all of the programs, what you should be doing, the meal plans, she knows exactly what I would say. So if you can't get a hold of me, Nicola is my, the next girl to connect with. Um, so we get started on June 5th, right, Nicola? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we get started on June 5th, and we're going to do this together. I wanted to make sure you guys knew that I was going to be doing the three-day refresh on the 9th, 10th, and 11th, our coaching team and some of the, my, um, I have a VIP group, which you guys will get rolled into after you finish the 30 days, but we're all doing this together. It's like a three days worth of, um, how do I say it, nutritional boot camp, basically, kind of get your rear in gear, cuts the sugar cravings and things like that. So um, I'm personally going to be doing that, 9th, 10th, and 11th, and then on the 12th, I'm starting Sean week and you might have heard me talk about it but it's just seven days that Sean T is doing an event where he's posting new workouts every day and so my veterans group's going to be doing my VIP group's going to do it my coaches are going to be doing it and so I wanted you guys to know that I was going to be doing that as well if you guys want to do Sean week and you have all access you will have access to that um, there's always a modifier in there so if you're like oh my gosh you can't do Sean T are you kidding me I'm just getting started there is a modifier in the um, in the program, and it's only seven days. It's a one-time exclusive event. You won't be able to get the workouts, I don't think, after that. Maybe they'll leave it in the bottom, not sure. Um, but that's what I'm personally going to be doing, and then I'll roll back into my regular routine that I'm doing now. So with that being said, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me, and then we will get started on what you guys are going to do individually and what goals you have, what events you have coming up to make sure you are set and ready to go for success. Um, Nicola, if you can snap any pictures or video for my Instagram story, that'd be awesome. <laughs> okay, I have to get the phone from Cooper, but yes. Uh, okay, well, don't make your kid melt down. <laughs> He's being phone set right now, I totally get it. <laughs> don't judge, y'all know y'all do that, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so a little bit about me, um, I am a stay-at-home mom. I have two boys, they are eight and six years old, about to turn nine, which is crazy. Um, I started Beachbody about almost five, it's going on five, it'll be five years in January, so four years and seven months ago. Um, and I, it's been a blessing in my life. I, I've stayed on my journey for that long, which is a big deal because I know for, for me before Beachbody, I would get in excited or motivated or summer would be coming and I would get motivated to lose the weight or to get in shape or to feel healthy or whatever my motivation was. And I would do it for like maybe 60 days, sometimes only two weeks, sometimes only three days. And I'm like, oh, forget it. There's a birthday party. I'm going to have cake. And I, and I would have that one mistake. And that one mistake would throw me off. And I wouldn't get back on for a couple of weeks. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but that's how I used to be. Um, and I'm so thankful for Beachbody and this journey that I've been on, that I'm a coach now that allows me to really stay accountable uh, to my workouts because I'm leading challenge groups like this, um, and it keeps me on point. <laughs> uh, so I remember, let's see, it was five years ago. I was um, pretty flippin' tired. I was depressed. Um, I had everything I'd ever wanted. I have a loving husband, healthy children, a beautiful home, um, a stay-at-home mom, which is what I would always wanted to do, but I was – struggling with depression pretty bad and I didn't understand why because I had no reason to feel that way 
Um, and I was in my kid's playroom laying there and thinking, what the heck is wrong with me? Like, why should I, I should be the last person on earth that should feel this way. I'm healthy, everybody's healthy, we're good, we're supported, there's no problems at all, and I'm not happy. Um, and so I thought, you know, well, one thing I could do, and I think I even had a conversation with Josh about it, is maybe I just need to start exercising. Maybe I need the exercise will help me feel better about myself and give me energy and feel like I'm doing something outside of wiping butts all day, basically, is what it felt like, um, or potty training. Um, and so I went and borrowed, actually I post on Facebook, it shows up in my Facebook memories, but I posted on Facebook, does anybody have Insanity that I can borrow? And I borrowed Insanity from a lady at the church, and I started it, and I stopped it. I started it, and stopped it, and started it, and stopped it, like five times. Have you guys ever done that where you're like, I'm going to do this program? And then you do it, and you get like two days in, and you're like, I'm sore, or I don't feel like doing it, or yeah, you just lose the motivation. I get it. That is exactly what happened to me and why I got really angry because I was like, this was going to be my answer. I was going to do this program like the infomercial said. I was going to feel amazing, energetic. I was going to give me something to focus on so I'm not like depressed, and I couldn't do it. I was really angry at myself, which was like a double slap in the face. Um, and so I got online and I started looking around and I saw this girl who had amazing transformation pictures with Sandy and I reached out to her and she said, are you part of a challenge group? And I'm like, I don't know what that is. What's a challenge group? No, obviously I'm not because I'm stinking at this program right now. Um, and she's like, okay, let's become Facebook friends. We became Facebook friends and she put me in her challenge group and I was floored. It's like, oh my goodness, this is what I've been missing from my health and fitness journey. I've been missing the community. I've been missing the accountability. And I've been missing other women who are gonna pull me up when I'm down. And then allowing me to also use my own gifts and, and love languages to pull other people up when they're down, which felt very rewarding at the same time, which obviously why I became a coach. Um, so in that, I, I finished Insanity. I became a coach about seven weeks into um, my program that I was in. And fell in love with it and never turned back. And it's obviously become a full-time career, which is crazy to me. But with that being said, that's kind of where I started. And I wanted you to know that because I've been in my challenger shoes. I was a challenger. I struggled. I yelled at Shanti. I probably said some not so nice words. Um, I quit several times and then I would start back up again. And so I know exactly how you feel. Or I know the days where you're like, can I just please go to Burger King and get the flipping fries with the sea salt and a cheeseburger and a, don't they have really good, no, who is it that has really good milkshakes? Your man has really good milkshakes. But I, I get those feelings um, because I had them and I still struggle with them. So I want you to know that I relate to you as a human being. I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not a nutritionist. I am a real life stay at home mom who has resources that work. And the, the way I can prove that they work is by my own testimony, by my own body transformation and the body transformation of all of my challenges, which if you go to my like page, we share them all the time. Um, of all the transformations that have happened. So that's a little bit about me. Um, we go over the group dynamics and then we'll dive into each of y'all's story real quick. Um, or say my spiel real quick and then we'll dive into each of y'all's story. So we'll start on the fifth. There will be a point tracker tagged at the top of the page and you can um, track your points. The person who has the most points at the end of the 30 days gets a really cool prize. Um, and that is all self-tracked, so you have to track it yourself. And that is a, that'll be pinned at the top. So when you're on your phone, it's a little weird. On the cell phones, you can't see. I have my after picture on my phone as motivation. Whatever you need to put on your phone is like a reminder. Do that. Um, but I, you can't see it on your phone. So when you go on the desktop, you have to add your points on the desktop, not on the mobile phone uh, or your laptop, or whatever that is. And in terms of interaction, y'all, this group will be a Incredible, if you make it incredible. I don't want to be the only one posting my workouts every single day. Like, that's boring. I do that anyways. I want to see all of you. I want to see your successes. I want to hear about your struggles. I want to hear about your failures, your weak moments where you're like, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. Somebody tell me to stop <laughs> right now. <laughs> 
And we will. We're going to be like, Caitlin, girl, get out now or go order a kale salad and a water <laughs> and move on. Actually, the grilled chicken nuggets are kind of yummy. Um, that's what I'll get. The grilled chicken nuggets with the kale salad and a side of fruit. I'm good to go. Um, but use the group for support and resources and things like that. So that's the gist of the group. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a, a place of, of um, what was it? We had a challenger today and I take control and she's like, can we just be vulnerable for a little bit? Like I get, we post selfies and all this stuff, but I really need to share something that's going on. And she just laid it out and was being vulnerable with what she was struggling with. And everybody in the group circled around her and loved on her in that moment which was a beautiful thing because everybody was complete strangers and now they're all friends and they're, they don't know each other. They're from all over the country. Some are in the UK. It's incredible. So that's what the group's all about. Now we need to dive into one meal plan, um, which program you're going to start with and who's going to do Sean week or the three day refresh with me. Um, and then what goals you have for yourself. And I also need, we need to hear out loud from your mouth what your biggest struggle is. So I think when you say it out loud, we're going to, you're kind of held accountable to it. So um, we'll start with Carrie. Do you want to start since you have to go soon? Oh, we got to unmute. Let, um, Nicola, unmute your line. What program do you want to start with? So I want to start um, with the Brazilian butt lift. Okay. I saw that. I've literally seen so many, uh, advertisements about it and I'm just I was really really good at doing squats and working out that part of my butt but uh I literally have lost so much motivation so I am just extremely thankful for all of you ladies and thankful for this opportunity just to get overall healthy and especially being moms like it's so important to be healthy um so yes that's uh and I would like to do Sean week with you too okay perfect okay so We've got Carrie doing Sean Week and BBL. And I encourage you to follow the 21 Day Fix meal plan while you're doing okay. the butt lift. Um, and I'll go over all of that and we can talk more about it tomorrow. Okay. Um, that's a great starting point for any for your nutrition. And what do you think your biggest weakness is? My biggest weakness is not having a solid routine. I will be the first to say that. Um, I work for a doctor too. So like his routine is insane, which makes my routine insane. And then just with everything else and trying to do what I love as well with Noah. Um, I really honestly, whether it's waking up in the morning and make carving that time, I feel like it's really important and I don't carve that time. So I think it's just more of like self investing in yourself. And I want to learn how to do that. And you are honestly like one of my hugest role models. So uh, I love how you do that. No matter what, you make time to do it. And that's, that's what makes or breaks it. It really does. It is. And, and she just hit on a great point that there's, there's these deciding moments. And I, I usually cover this during the call. And this is a great point. Great time to bring it up. But there's these deciding moments where you – and actually every single action you take, whether it be workouts or eating or moving throughout the day or deciding to take a nap or deciding to shift your schedule the wrong way and not keep your priorities straight, it's either pulling you towards your goal or pulling you away from your goal. There's never just sitting still. It's always pulling you towards your goal or away from your goal. So you got to make that decision. Like I am choosing to go away from my goal right now. Mm -hmm. And when you have that in your mind, you'll, it's kind of, Taking that bite, you're like, I'm choosing to not hit my goal. Yes. So I love what you thank you. All right, so solid routine. Well, we got that one. Check. We will have a solid routine. And Nicola wrote in the chat, did you say Okay, so I lost 10 pounds doing Brazilian butt lift in Pio. <laughs> so I was gonna suggest the there's a hybrid of Pio and BB that you can do. But I lost a ton of inches, though. So. Have you ever done Pio? Pio is like a Pilates no. yoga. It's I've never... a lot of fun. I can get you the the hybrid schedule that I did, that somebody did for me. But it's really, really good. I would definitely be interested in mixing the two. Yeah. So I'll get the 
I'll get the schedule to you for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right. All right, Tammy. Tammy, you've been with me before. I feel like you've done a challenge group with me before, right? Do we want to unmute her line? We can. Got it, Nicola. Are you host or my host? No, I am. Sorry, I couldn't find her. Hi, Jatana. Yeah, I've been with you before. I've done the country heat. I did 21 day fix. And I started out doing just your free. It was like a free Christmas workout or something that I got involved in. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for a couple years. Oh, well, I thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Oh, I love it. I love doing the challenge groups because they, they keep you going. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. So tell me, what program are you interested in doing? I don't know what I want to do. I really have not decided on one yet. Okay. Do you want, are you interested in Sean Week at all? Oh, yes. I'm doing Sean Week. I'm doing the uh, refresh Okay, That's with right. you guys. That's right. You're in, in my intimate refresh group. We have like three or four of us in there. Um, okay. So, Tammy is three-day refresh, and we're going to start that on the 9th. Hopefully, has yours gotten there yet? Or you already oh, yeah. I already had mine. Three-day refresh and Sean Week. And then... Um, what program do you, are oh, you, you said you didn't know. What yeah, I've done Country Heat and I've done 21 Day Fix. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm really not sure. Did you like, which one did you like better out of the two? Oh, of Country Heat, of course. <laughs> did you finish it from start to finish? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've done it a couple times. Okay. And, you did, and you, what about 21 Day Fix? What do you think of that? Yeah, it was okay. I also have... Um, Oh, I can't even remember the name. It was one of the latest ones that came out with the guy and the girl. Jill and Jill, okay, Court of Force? Yes, I have that one also. I have not actually even started it yet. So I may do that one because I do have the DVDs on that also. Okay. The so Court of Force, just so you guys aren't familiar, and if you're not familiar, it's a, it's like a mixed martial arts. It's kind of like the, the upbeat version of Taibo. You know, Taibo back in the I did Taibo years and years and years ago. So it, it's a little bit, no, I want to say more difficult. Yeah, it's more difficult than Taibo. Um, but it's the same concept of the kickboxing MMA style workouts. Um, so Core de Force is, and Carrie, if you, any, all of, if you have all access, it means you have all the programs at your fingertips. So any program that you hear somebody else is doing, you're like, oh, that sounds good. Um, remember, you can do those as well. So. Um, all right, so quarter force, Sean Week, and the three day refresh. You, you, is that what you want to do? Yes, and I do have all access too. So if you think of something that would be better for me, let me know. Well, and what I want you guys to do, because we have some time before the fifth, um, and I think I said it in a live video as well, but go into your all access and start looking around. There is so much content in there. I mean, like, you really don't ever have to buy a gym membership or purchase anything ever again because we will keep uploading more stuff in there as new programs get released. So, for example, in July, Shift Shop's coming out. It's a three-week program. It starts from 25 minutes a day and gets up to 40 minutes a day by the end. Um, it is a sports training style workout. I did it the other day and started crying during my video. Yeah, that was Shift Shop. Um, and that comes out in July. So you will sign into your um, – on demand and it will be uploaded there for you. So um, feel free to go in there and look around. I, like I said, I did yoga the other day and I pulled up yoga and there was like yoga for runners, yoga for cyclists, yoga for pregnant people, yoga for people with back injuries, yoga for people with knee injuries. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like there was any scenario of yoga was out there. So I want you guys to go in there and look around and see what looks interesting to you. Uh, we have old school stuff like Slim and Six, and we have um, T25 and Sandy Max 30 and Sandy P90X 1, 2, and 3, um, Brazilian Butt Lift, Cord Force, Chilean Extreme. Like, there's a lot of stuff in there. So between now and the time that we start on Monday, you have plenty of time to kind of try some of the different workouts. Try a Pio workout. You know, Tammy, try Cord Force. Try. Um, we actually have Slim and Six on VHS. Oh, I bet. <laughs> That's like Deb, is it Debbie Seavers, her name? Yeah. <laughs> She's really old school, but a lot of people have 
incredible transformations with her programs as well. So um, I encourage you guys to look around and let me know. Like if you change your mind, you're like, okay, I don't want to do quarter force. I actually tried Chilean Extreme and I really loved it. So I'm going to do that one instead. Um, and then we'll just pause. We'll do a week and we'll pause. And then from the 12th until the 18th, we will do um, Sean Week together. Uh, if you guys want to do it. You don't, don't feel like you have to, but I'll, that's what I'll be doing. Um, awesome. So I'll have you guys quarter force, but I encourage you to go in your all access and like, try Pio. Um, try, try Slim and Six and see if you like it. Try Size. That's another dance program that they have. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Ooh, I just named a whole bunch. But there's a lot of stuff in there. And if you bought Quarter Force, you might want to at least give it a shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you like it. Awesome. All right, Caitlin. I'm going to unmute Caitlin. Hold on a second. Oh, there we go. Can't hear you for some reason. I'm gonna call back. Oh, <laughs> phone. I can you can? Okay. I was like, I'm on my work computer. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, my name's Kate. I my biggest problem is probably I work a lot. I work two jobs, and then I get home and I don't hold myself accountable. I'd rather use my time to hang out with my boyfriend with his son, and we eat healthy. It's more the working out that's hardest for me, um, but. In the past, I did do the 21 day fix all the way through one time and had great results. So that is probably the one I want to start with first and get back into that just to get myself that initial motivation <laughs> to get it done. Um, and then I'm, I've never done the Sean workouts, but I am up for trying that. <laughs> Sean week, all right. And I have the three day refresh, but I'm gonna actually start mine tomorrow because I can't, next weekend, um, um, I have a big bike ride from Philly to Atlantic City for the Cancer Society, so I don't want to be on a three-day refresh while I'm riding that. Perfect. <laughs> so All I'll right. get it done this weekend. All right. So you got three-day refresh, 21-day fix, and you're going to pause for Sean Week. Yes. Awesome. Anything that you – and if you guys have something coming up, tell me that as well. Like, I'm getting married in six months, or I've got to be in a wedding, or I'm pregnant, or I'm trying to get pregnant. Like, I want to know those things so that I can... Just kind of, you know, in the early 20s, everything was a lot easier. Late 20s, not so easy. Um, definitely put on, like, 15 to 20 pounds the past, like, 18 months, which is, I was always easy, an easy size, too. Not so much anymore. <laughs> so, tired of buying bigger pants and ready to just get myself in a solid routine and... Go back to my old wardrobe. <laughs> I swear, when I hit 32, everything my everything got shot. I was like, I used to be able to eat whatever I wanted. Now I look at it and like I get in a shot. <laughs> so I totally yeah. I don't know what it is with 30s, but our, your metabolism slow down, um, your muscle mass depreciates, and so you don't burn as many calories. Um, and yeah, but we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on your metabolism, and you're gonna be burning. Burn it and turn like crazy, which is why following the meal plan is going to be huge. I'll go over yeah. that. Um, because this will kick your metabolism into high gear, which is fantastic. All right, 21 day fix, Sean Week, and 3 day refresh. Perfect. All right, Rebecca. Rebecca, you're Tammy's daughter, right? No. Now, somebody, wait, Rebecca, isn't it? Buchanan. Rebecca King, I think. No. There's a mother and daughter combo in here. Tammy, isn't your daughter in the group? Oh, Jennifer Hall. I'm like. <laughs> That's okay. I'm somebody's daughter. <laughs> That's okay. Tammy's the mama in the group anyways. <laughs> All right, Rebecca. Tell us what's going on. What uh, so I am very busy at work. I work crazy, stress, high stress job. Um, I oversee commercial real estate, so I oversee about 40 different properties all over. So I'm in my car a lot, and I'm on the go a lot. Mm -hmm. And I have an eight-year-old daughter, and I'm pretty darn close to my pregnancy weight, <laughs> which is very depressing. Yeah. And my probably my biggest challenge is, one, finding the time to work out, because I don't get home until 6, 6.30, and then I feel like I need to cook dinner and 
spend time with my daughter because she goes to bed so early because I'm back up at 5 30 in the morning mm -hmm. so I just got to try to figure out how I'm gonna make that time for me and then um, I have a horrible sweet tooth like eating I stress eat and um, sweets are my downs are my downfall <laughs> big time and um, probably about a year and a half ago, I was doing really well. I had a personal trainer. I was working out. I had lost weight and done really well. But I have a, a bulging disc in my lower back that I see a chiropractor for. So I kind of had to stop doing that because I was doing a lot of heavy weightlifting and stuff. And I think that aggravated it. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little nervous about um, some of the workout stuff because I just don't want to put myself back into the position where I can hardly walk and sit because <laughs> that's how bad I got. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I like country heat. I, I like the pie. I thought about the pie cause maybe that would be a little less impactful, um, to start maybe until I can maybe drop some of the weight. And, um, I would like to do the three day refresh. I have one. So uh, I'd like to do that. Um, I don't know if I'll do Sean Week. I'm kind of open to it, but I'm just a little nervous about that, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, what are your limitations in terms of working out? What did your doctor said? He says I can, I just have no, um, no, I got to be really careful about the bending movement because it's in my lower back. Mm -hmm. So like not a lot of crunches even. I have to do more core workout, which is why I was thinking the pile might be better. Yeah. Um, and you know, he's talked to me a lot about strengthening my core, which will help my back. Mm -hmm. So I just can't do like dead lifting and I can't, you know, do stuff like that. Okay. Um, maybe we could come up with like a, um, a Pio country heat hybrid. Have you, you have you ever done Pio? I've watched my daughter do it. <laughs> All right. We'll try it out before the fifth and see if it's something, because some people, there are people who love, love it and people who hate Pio. Yeah. I'm not a Pio chick, but I'm not a yoga chick and a Pilates chick because I'm too ADD. Like, See, I'm like, I kind of am too, I'm not sure I'm going to dig it either because I have like zero patience. Yeah. So it's kind of like, this is too slow. It's, I can't relax. So my brain doesn't shut off like that. So. Oh, no. Pio is not slow. Okay. <laughs> let me just tell you that I sweat just as much with Paya than I do like when I'm doing Shanti. Okay, I'm gonna it keep an open mind. I am. I'm gonna try it. Well, try it between now and the fifth. And okay. Let Paya sweat, and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, I'll try that one. <laughs> so try that out. See what you think. Um, if you're like, I hate it, then we won't do it. Okay. If you want to do country heat? We can go with that. Yeah, I like country heat because it doesn't feel like I'm working out as much. You're like, I like to dance and, you know, so. Yeah. I think the biggest thing for you that's going to be really beneficial is following the nutrition. Yeah. And I know you said you have a sweet tooth and you tend to stress eat and you're in the car a lot, which is a combination of, well, that drive through looks good. Yeah, I know. And that's my, that's my problem. You know, I, I'm trying very hard. Like if I have to grab something that I'm, I'm going to, a, you know, a sweet green where I can make a salad or something like that instead of the sandwich place or something like that. But it is hard because I'm, I'm so busy. Like I really have to commit myself to doing it in advance. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to talk about that. Actually, I can say it now, but um, having a plan ahead of time, I know you've heard the saying before, but if you fail to plan, you might as well plan to fail, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's so true in almost anything, but especially in your nutrition, because you get in those crunch moments, those stress, I have been in it. Oh my gosh. I think I posted the other day, I ate Chick-fil-A French fries. I was <laughs> stressed out when I go in the drive through and I bought a large waffle fry and I ate every single one of them. And I think I even like went like this. <laughs> out. <laughs> That's me. Yes. Because I was, I was so stressed and yeah. instead of having a plan because I didn't have a plan. I didn't know what I was going to eat that day. Or right. lunch. And so I, the stress came on. I didn't have a plan. It was a perfect storm for boom, I'm going to mess up. Is it the end of the world? No. Yeah. Right. But if it's a habit that happens frequently, All the time. yeah, it'll compound on itself. So yeah. And I am going to the beach, Myrtle Beach, June 24th through the 30th. So. That's my hometown. I know. 
born and raised. Um, okay, awesome. What, when was the date for the Myrtle Beach trip? June 24th through the 30th. Okay. So we have like 20 days. Yep. <laughs> so we, what if you lost like 10 pounds or something? I'd be ecstatic. <laughs> you can. You totally can, right, Nicola? Yeah. I'm going to go with that. Nicola, what's the most you lost on like in a 21 day? In 21 days, 20 pounds. Whoa. Yeah. But I was super, super, like, strict. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't look at that necessarily. necessarily. But, I mean, well, I, I lost think... 10 pounds in nine days just doing that wow. photo and BB thing. So, but I'm super strict on all my, all my stuff, so. It's the nutrition. It's that kicks. I know. I mean, I know that's going to be the thing. I really have to. Like when Jatana says to only eat like quinoa and sweet potatoes, like she means that. And that's all I eat. That's my only carbs. And that's what's getting my weight off. So. Yeah. And I like both of those things. So I could probably do that. Yeah. And there's different ways you can make it. So, but that's what I've done. And, and that's what's working. So. Yeah, I don't deviate too much on my carbs because I don't have good judgment. So yeah. if I set it in stone, like these are my carb options. And if you're when you're gonna have your yellow container, right? This yellow container here. Um, when you're gonna have this, it's gonna be one of those options, and you're not gonna be like, oh well, it's mashed potatoes. All I have to do is put the no. I just don't, I don't do well like that. So I stick to the same. I have like three or four carbs that I can pick from. Otherwise, I don't go past those. Um, obviously, it can be all kinds of varieties of vegetables and, and fruits. Fruits, I stick with berries. If it doesn't have the word berry in it, I don't eat it. Right. It's 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 lower, higher on that glycemic index. What is that? Yeah, I'm, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, and so like even bananas. Bananas are delicious. They feel like you're eating something smooth and sweet and soft, which is different than a tart berry. Um, they go great in smoothies, but they are very high in sugar. Yeah. So they have great potassium. If you're going to run a 5K, you probably should have a banana. Um, but I, I just I don't have them in my diet at all. I stick with berries, and that's it. Um, blackberries, strawberries, blueberries, that kind of thing. So um, Tammy's thing about trying pie. Oh, awesome. Let me write that down next to your name. Okie dokie. Well, Rebecca, we've got you doing 3D refresh and you were going to try out Pio, right? Yeah, and country heat. Pio and country heat. Okay. And if you like Pio, maybe we could do a Pio country heat. Um, uh, or you could do, you could commit to Pio and do like a full per, the full like program from start to finish and get the free t-shirt and all that stuff. <laughs> okay. That's what that free t-shirt is. Right. <laughs> the things we do. Over exactly. Oh, goodness. All right, Jennifer. Tammy's daughter. <laughs> Got the right daughter. Hey, y'all. Hey. hey. Where are you from? I heard you say y'all. Oh, she froze. I am from South Alabama. I'm from Andalusia, Alabama. Andalusia. We have Mrs. Alabama in our group. You guys see that? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, she's in there in um, 2016. This is Texas. Sissy is in there. So that's pretty cool. But yeah. So what's your game plan? You got the three day refresh, right? Or no? Are you doing that with your mom? I do not have. Okay. No. Okay. So what program do you want to start with? Um, I, I think I want to try Country Heat and um, the Pio. Okay. Kind of do a hybrid, maybe. Uh oh. Um, I guess my problem. question about that is: <laughs> Is there some sort of a calendar or something to where you can look at like what workouts you should do on what day? Yep. Okay, so let me share my screen with you, and I'll show you guys your on-demand. Um, on my Facebook. I have to go into. Safari for some reason, and I was looking at sunglasses. Stop. All right. Um, 
and this is good information so you guys know, because they're really, there's so much stuff in here, and I think people don't realize what they have access to when they um, jump in here. But I'm going to show you where you can see your calendars um, and your meal plans, and then also a lot of extra. There is cooking shows. Autumn has a cooking show on there. Um, when we had Super Bowl Sunday, was it Super Bowl? Yeah, it was Super Bowl. We watched her um, cheesy bread, uh, the cauliflower cheesy bread episode, and we made cheese bread out of cauliflower. Now we make cauliflower pizza, and it's incredible, um, which is, and it's pretty guilt free, which is amazing because the breading is made out of straight up cauliflower. So you'll sign into your account, and then you'll go to your Beach Body on Demand. Logged in. Okay. So this is Shift Shop. That's the program that's coming out. Um, this is another dance program that just got released. It's a four-week program. It's kind of like, um, what's the really, really old school one? Richard Simmons? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's got like this 70s, 80s music, and it's all dancing. Um, so if any of you are would like that style workout, that's there as well. But say if you're going to go into the 21 Day Fix, you click on the 21 Day Fix, and Program Materials. And you would you can click this and go through that. The workout calendar is here if you want to download it or if you just want to see um, sometimes I just pull it up on my phone and screenshot it, but if you want to download it and print it out, it's here for you. Um, let's see here. There's the tally sheet for your um, containers, but there is also a app on the iPhone for the 21 Day Fix that you can track your colors, which is really helpful. And it also has the food list on the 21 Day Fix app. And it's by Beachbody, so don't go download one that's not Beachbody because I can't put my name behind it. <laughs> but the one by Beachbody on the 21 Day Fix, I have it on my phone. Um, it's amazing, and it allows you to track everything really easily from your phone. Um, like tap the containers and it tells you you got two yellows left or whatever. So it's pretty nice. Um, the eating plan, everything's on here. The grocery list, there's the FAQ, and then I obviously have a Spanish version, which I don't think anybody needs. And then the workout list is here. And the other nice thing about on demand, you guys, is if you for some reason will be at a place on vacation that does not have Wi Fi or your, your Wi Fi is going to be really spotty. And you should still be working out five days a week, even when you're on vacation, because it's a healthy lifestyle. It's not about like just getting fit or looking good in a bathing suit, but just about feeling good and feeling and being strong, keeping a healthy heart. So when I go on vacation, I still take that 30 minutes out of my day and get my workout and I feel amazing. I eat better. Um, so it's just a priority in my life. I kind of like brushing my teeth and making my bed. So, um, I, okay, so you, with the download, you have to do it from the app. You can put the BOD app on your phone. And, like, for example, when I was in Jamaica, I downloaded up, you have up to seven workouts. You can download it onto the app, and you don't have to stream Wi-Fi. You have the programs downloaded onto the app, and so all you have to do is click play, and it plays with no Wi-Fi at all. So if you know you're going to be in that situation in a, Mexico or something, um, then go ahead, before you lose your Wi-Fi, go ahead and download, you know, a couple of workouts that you can do while you're away, and then you have them there on your phone, and I, I can work out from my little tiny iPhone, like, I don't need a big old flat screen to do it, especially if you're in crunch time on vacation, so, um, does that answer your questions, Jennifer? It does, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, everything's listed there for you, um, and then, of course, you guys can go around and look through the trainer. There's all the different trainers that are there. And kind of click around and see what – Shaleen has some incredible material, too. She kind of gets overlooked a lot. Like, dan dance-wise, if you like dancing, Turbo Fire and Turbo Jam, they're older programs, but they're, like, high-intensity, fun, 
dance programs. So I definitely try those out too. So, all right. Any other questions with Bod before I close this out? That you guys might have. No. Nope. Okay. All right, so Jennifer, you, you're interested in doing Pio and Country Heat? Yes. Uh, I, I actually did um, Turbo Jam, and then the second one, Shalene had a second mm -hmm. edition she came out with, and I've had those for years, and I did um, Hip Hop Abs. Mm -hmm. um, prior to getting pregnant with my little boy, I was very active and very fit, and then it just went, it just went downhill. <laughs> um, I guess some of my challenges are, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer in 2015. So it's been kind of a roller coaster with my medication and getting that right. And then it's hard to lose weight sometimes um, mm -hmm. after that. So, uh, but I think now I'm at a good spot where I'll have good results. Um, my diet is something that I struggle with. So the 21 day fix is gonna be really good for me and, and retrain the way I eat instead of um, eating emotionally like I tend to. So I'm looking forward to getting started on that. Awesome. And you have your mama here to hold you accountable to you. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> um, and I do plan to do Sean Week. Okay, good, good. You know, I, I saw little snippets from Sean Week and Carl Dykler, our CEO, kind of shared a little bit about it too. But it sounds like it's going to be a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. It's going to, he's going to dig into your heart a little bit of what's stopping you, what's holding you back from hitting your goals, what lies are you telling yourself that you're not able to accomplish what you really want to accomplish. And so I'm interested for myself and for my challengers to see what this is going to do for our mindset going into the rest of the 30 days. So I'm glad you're doing that with us. All right, Sean Week. And you're going to follow the 21 day fix meal plan, right? I am. All right. And the, all the materials that are in like the old school book are all online. So, or you can use the app as well. One of the things that I want to encourage you guys to all do is do your calculations ahead of time and your pictures. Um, pictures are not fun to take. You do not have to show anybody. If you want to send them to me for accountability, you can, I don't share them anywhere until you have a six pack. You're like, oh my gosh, look how good I look. It's so funny. So many people will send them to me and they're like, I don't ever want anybody to see them again. And then they look incredible after like, you know, six months of really in wonderful work. And they're so proud of those before and after pictures. They're okay with sharing the like a key sports bra picture. But I encourage you guys to put on a pair of shorts and a sports bra and take a picture in a well-lit area so that you can see the changes and that's what I'll talk about some fat and muscle the differences but make sure you do your calculations too before we start um, these calculations are in the BOD um, program that I just showed you or in the old 21 day fix book if you have it um, but that will tell you which calorie bracket you're in and don't try to like oh no I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna do the lowest calorie bracket that's not how it works. You actually will mess up your metabolism and not lose weight. Your body will go into starvation mode and hold on to calories rather than burn them. So I encourage you to stick with whatever bracket they tell you to do. If you're on the border of one, you can obviously drop down one and it's okay. It's not the end of the world, but um, make sure you do that calculations. Make sure you do your before and after pictures. Anything else, Jennifer? I don't think so. I'm excited for you. Yay, so we're all doing Sean Week. And Rebecca, obviously, for medical reasons, be careful. You can watch them and see what you think. I don't know. I've never seen them, so I don't know. Yeah. Somebody's on the phone. 703-928. There we go. Who do we have on the phone? The creeper. <laughs> hey, Jatana. Sorry, it's Jeff. Oh, hey, Jeff. Oh, I forgot we have a dude. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. So you have you don't have basketball today. He was at basketball like all day on the Saturday that everybody was supposed to order. No, I have basketball every weekend. So it's, oh my it's uh, we travel someplace every weekend. <clears throat> what part of Virginia are you in? Manassas. 
Okay, so you're right down the street from me. That's awesome. Okay, so Jeff, tell me a little bit about your history and what, what, what have you ever used Beachbody and what your goals are so that I can take some notes. Yeah, so I, I mean, I, I, I've used Beachbody for years. I love it. I've had phenomenal success with it. Mm -hmm. um, I've done a number of programs. I'm a big Sean T fan. Um, uh, I, I, you know, some of my challenges, number one, is I, I travel all the time. Um, weekends or basketball, as I've already said, I travel a lot for work. So, you know, maintaining consistency and making, um, good decisions, uh, when I'm on the road, uh, is a challenge. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I would also say, you know, like I said, I've, I've done a lot of programs, beach body programs. I've had great success. Um, but, but I know this and even my wife tells me I, I work at extremes. So, I'll go three or four months where I'm almost obsessed with working out and eating extremely clean. But when I, when I go off the end, I, I, I go big time. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's, it's kind of a yo-yo back and forth, back and forth. And I, I'm, I'm just trying to, and, and even when I'm eating clean, I know I'm not getting the, I'm probably doing more starvation than I am getting the calories that I need. Um, but uh, so, so, you know, one of, one of my goals with the group is just looking for that support and, and you know, trying to find ways and, and listen to all of y'all uh, to see how I, can, how I can create a better lifestyle that's consistent rather than these extremes and the yo-yoing back and forth. Um, I love that so much because, one, I can relate to that situation. I am very similar where I used to, and I talk lot in my challenge calls I used to be a major all or nothing kind of mentality type of person and I finally got to the point in my journey where I decided that this is a lifestyle this is not an all or nothing it is really trying to be the best me version of me that I could be and not focus so much on and I think it's also it's a personality type too I I believe that wholeheartedly um, because I study personalities and we probably have very similar personalities. If we both have that mindset, but um, it trips me up because, and I told my husband this the other day, I was like, if I cheat at all, especially when I'm really trying to focus in, say I'm getting ready for Mrs. America. If I cheat at all, then I just gave myself permission to go off the deep end. Um, but there's a, the problem with that is that's just not life. Like that doesn't fit. No. Um, so I definitely, it's go ahead. It's almost like I have, I have phenomenal results and then I, the, to, to me, it's almost, you know, mentally that's the reward to go and do whatever I want to do, yep. <laughs> you know? Yep. And it, it, um, there's a, there's a personal development video. I'll have to find it on YouTube, but it talks about, um, the, it said, I think it might be Stephen Covey or something, but something about how success is like this, this slope and then it go, or you can't really see me because you're on the phone but this <laughs> we're all on video but the slope goes upward right you're you're doing really great and you go upward the people who are super successful in their health and fitness journey not necessarily like six pack but like they're insanely consistent and they're way up here at the top of this hill are the people who don't stop the behaviors that got them the results that they love does that make right. sense so it's those like those daily behaviors where it's like we get a little bit of success and we're like, okay, I don't have to stop doing the things that got me there. Yeah, you do. You got to keep going. But the problem is a lot of people don't make it sustainable over light of our over a lifetime, basically. Um, and that's where it makes it hard because you can't do zero carbs for the rest of your life. Right. And so many of us are going to either do 400 calories or they're going to do zero carbs. And we can't live like that, which means we might get results, but we're going to go off the deep end and we're going to screw up our metabolism and we're going to overindulge. Sorry, I'm getting on my pedestal. I've been there. I know exactly how you feel. So what program? No, I, 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 I love the word that you said, sustainable. I mean, that, 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 that's really what I'm looking for is, is something that's sustainable um, and realistic. Um, that's still going to get me the results. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I don't, you know, have to go through these periods where I'm, you know, 100% all in knowing that I'm going to sabotage myself at some point later on. Absolutely. How old are you? 
Well, that's another thing. So I turned 50 this summer. Okay. Um, so, so one of my goals is to try to be in as good a shape as possible um, by the time I turn 50. So, I know some incredible 50 year old males who are, I mean, Tony Horton <laughs> is in that age bracket. So he's obviously in incredible shape. It's completely possible. Um, yeah. so are you going to do Sean week with us? I am. I'm going to do Sean week. Uh, I, I actually, I mean, I, I love Sean programs and I was thinking about doing Sean's programs but I don't want to do his programs if I'm also going to do Sean week mm -hmm. um, so I've been struggling a little bit with what I want to do I, I kind of like the sound of core de force mm -hmm. um, but I also thought about 20 way 21 day fix because I did uh, hammer and chisel last year and honestly autumn's program I mean she she taxed me more than the gentleman on that program did uh, I, I, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of interested in that as well. For sure. For sure. I, I mean, I'm obviously a huge autumn. She's a sweet friend of mine. Um, so I love her programs, you know, this summer or no, no, summer, this winter, December 5th up until <laughs> what, three months from December 5th, I did the 21 day fix. Then I did, um, chisel only 30 days of chisel. I didn't do any of the hammer workouts, just the chisel workouts. And I have a calendar for it. And then I did 21 Day Fix Extreme. Those three, oh, I'm sorry, pause. I did 21 Day Fix, Chisel, 21 Day Fix Extreme, and then I finished with Country Heat. And I had uh, incredible results. Um, I went from the Thanksgiving time frame to you know the winter fluff and the wine that I was having. I cut wine out, you guys, in 2017. No wine. This is LaCroix and vodka. <laughs> it looks like wine. <laughs> but I had to cut the wine out. But anyways, for you, Jeff, um, if you would be interested, you could possibly do a 21 day fix chisel, just the chisel workouts and then do extreme, which I think is harder than chisel. Um, or you could do core to force, whatever floats your boat. Or you I'm do sorry. What's, what's extreme? Uh, 21 day fix extreme is a harder. Oh, oh. 21 day fix. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm open to anything. I mean, and, and, and your expertise in this area. I mean, what, one of the things, I mean, I've, I've read a lot uh, online about, you know, people that combine programs versus following one um, start to finish. I, I've, always, I've always done them start to finish with a given program. Um, and I've wanted to mix it up, but I just, I, I've struggled. I don't know how the best way to mix it to make sure I'm not overworking certain body parts or, you know, whatever. I, I just don't know how to do the calendar right. So yeah. um, um, any assistance you can provide there would be awesome. Absolutely. There are a lot of phenomenal hybrid calendars, um, but I, I'm a firm believer and I, I don't always get challengers following me on this one, but I think they pay a lot of money for these people who design, that design these programs and put the workouts together. So doing a program from start to finish is, that's the best way to get results. Trying to, when you play around with the different, different programs and mixing them together, you're going to get results. But the best way to get results is to do a program from start to finish and follow the meal plan exactly how they scientifically put it together so that it would work. Um, so I would, I don't know, I'm going to let, I'm going to let you make your decision because I don't want to pick it for you. I want you to pick what you love. I think 21 day fix is amazing. Incredible. It's definitely a beginner workout. So if you have done harder workouts before, I'd maybe say start with 21 day fix extreme. Um, I think you'll like extreme better than 21 day fix. 21 day fix, I think is a little easy. It's hard, but it's easy. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, no, that, it, it does. I, I like the intensity um, and, and I like uh, more upper body. I mean, obviously I like the cardio, but I mean, I, so, so many of the programs I don't think provide enough upper body, um, you know, so I, I'm looking for that as well. So, And, you know, for, um, for when I competed and I had to be in the best physical condition possible, um, I did 21 and I don't like to do hybrids, but I did 21 day fix extreme and instead of doing the upper body from extreme while it is a good workout, which was actually the workout I did today was 21 day fix extreme upper. Um, I did all of the 21 day fix extreme workouts, but I replaced upper the arm day and leg day with body beast because body beast, 
the upper arm workout and the leg workout is incredible compared to the extreme, which is more, I want to say feminine. It's just not as hardcore as the body beast upper and leg workout. So I would utilize Autumn for her and I'd follow her calendar. I just replaced upper and legs with body beast upper and legs. And I got incredible results with that as well. Oh, great. So it's something to consider. Um, if you like the, the weights and things like that. Do you have power blocks or? I do. I have those. I have bands. Okay. Okay. I try to stay away from the bands unless I'm traveling. I, I, I prefer the actual weight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're, I guess we're just trying to nail down what it is you're going to start on the fifth. And you mentioned core to force too. So it is, because that's basically all cardio using your, Actually, there's one of the workouts where you have to do a bazillion push-ups. I think there's like, I didn't want to count how many push-ups were in that one workout, but um, <clears throat> quarter force is like a mixed martial arts, kickboxing style um, program. It's pretty intense. So does, is that something that sounded interesting or do you want to try something? Well, I, I mean, honestly, I, 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 to, to me, the quarter force, um, I, I did another like MMA program a while back and I can't remember you know, it was a video series and I can't remember who it was, but, uh, um, it was an Australian group. I do remember that. But, um, the reason I thought about core to force is because I find that activity fun. You know, it keeps it front fresh. It keeps it fun, but I don't know that I want, I, it's almost like I wanted to do another program, maybe 21 day fix and supplement it with core to force. I just, I just, I, I'm struggling with exactly what programs I want to, or program to, to do at this point okay so but i know i don't want to do insanity or t25 if if i'm going to do sean week in a, in a, a couple weeks so okay so sean week's on the 12th and you might have to break up your we're going to start on the fifth so we're going to start with the program and then we're going to pause we're going to do sean week together and then we're going to re-hit the program that you started <laughs> with. so it's a little unconventional but we're obviously going to be working out every day so it'll still be incredible um yeah I would say, what if you did 21 day fix extreme, which is my soulmate workout. I love that workout. Um, like anytime I'm in crunch mode, it's a 21 day fix extreme hands down. That's what I do. Um, probably it's my favorite beach body program. And if, do you like to do yoga at all? Most uh, well, I, 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 I enjoy doing it. I'm not the loosest person in the world. So, uh, you know, it's, yeah, my body doesn't move like that sometimes, but, um, but yeah, saying, it's, it's, it's fine. I mean, there were, I hate yoga. I'm just being straight up. I don't like yoga at all. I'm so bad at it and I will do it because I know it's good for me. Um, but if you wanted to like supplement one workout a week with a quarter force workout, you could do that. Or you could just do 21 day fix extreme. And then once you finish 21 days, it's only three weeks, then you could do a full core to force program. Okay. I mean, I, I don't want to make the call for you, but I think you would love extreme. Yeah. Um, and well, let me, let, let me ask you. So I, I mentioned my birthday. It's, it's at the beginning of August. Uh -huh. What's going to get me, what's going to get me to August the fastest? Where, where do you think I'm going to get the best results? Um, Maybe I'll just do the extreme and see what that's like. I, I mean, that's what I would lean towards for myself if I were doing it, or, or even my husband. If my husband was like, okay, I need to – I mean, quarter force, you're going to be dripping in sweat for sure because it's in high intensity. It's, I mean, it's like MMA, and Sandy MMA. <laughs> um, yeah. But 21 day fixed stream because you get to use the weights and things like that. I feel like you do get to build muscle, which helps you burn more calories. So if you're following the meal plan, I, I would say do a 21 day fixed extreme. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Just make sure you lift heavy. Um, when you're doing upper, you'll see, and Autumn said this, which was funny. We were together and she was like, so on set, I use five and 10 pound dumbbells. But when I'm personally doing it, I lift 30 pounds on my arms and 50 pounds with my legs. I'm like, what? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, she's a fitness competitor, so that, that's crazy to me. But I'm sitting here using my – she's like, but I'm on set and I'm being filmed, so I can't lift heavy or I'll, like, look miserable and won't be able to talk. 
Um, so I encourage you to make sure you don't look at the people in the videos because even the guys are lifting really light. Um, make sure you're lifting enough where you're, you know, you fatigue and you feel it um, in your arms and in your legs. So. Okay, that's great. Yeah. All right. So 20, we'll put you down for 21 Day Fix Extreme. And then we'll pause for Sean week. And then we'll jump into week two on the 19th. Um, so you'll do week one starting the fifth. You'll pause, which is not going to hurt anything. And then we'll do Sean week together. And then we'll start week two on the 19th. Does that sound good? Yeah, it does. Great. Perfect. Um, and you, you're going to be good on nutrition, but you're not going to like go hardcore and then completely fall apart at the end of this 30 days. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to try. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the nice thing about this, y'all, is after this group is over, it's a 30 day group. But after it's over, I roll you into my VIP group. So we're still connected. I post in there. I go live in there. We talk about tips. We share meal plans. There's a ton of activity um, going on in the VIP group. So. Awesome sauce. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> we talked. Did we get everybody? Did everybody talk? We're good to go. Okay. Um, one of the things that, that I, I always say, and that's why I couldn't find my pig, because he's a great analogy for what I was going to say. But um, I want to encourage you guys from start to finish to not weigh yourself. I know. It's not fun, especially for the ladies on here, because we tend to be obsessed with the scale. Um, but it's really not a good indicator of your success because our bodies shift and change so often. I mean, you can wake up in the morning and weigh three pounds heavier at night. Um, if you're a woman, we, we tend to retain a lot more water than men do. Um, if you're a male and you are tearing your muscles, you're going to retain water because that's what they do to rebuild themselves. Um, also, the reason why I had the pig analogy, and I can't find my darn pig. I'll use my headphones. <laughs> I don't know what to use. <laughs> but, you know, muscle and fat are completely two different, like, dimensions and size, even though they weigh the same. So, for example, if you were to have my clunky headphones on your abdomen, on your belly, and they're, they're like, round and bulgy and not all flat and firm or anything, I had this little chunky pig, and it's a really cute analogy. But if that's on your abdomen, right, this thing, and it's rolling over your jeans, your stomach, and you lose that five pounds of fat off of your body, yet at the exact same time, you gain this flat, firm, and right now, Jeff, I'm holding a coaster in my hand, a flat, firm five pounds of muscle on your abdomen. So you've lost this bulky fat, but you've gained five pounds of muscle and you're stepping on the scale and it says, you haven't made any progress, sucks for you. <laughs> and you're like, I still weigh 137 pounds. I worked so hard this week. I was so good with my nutrition, blah. And then you message me and you're freaking out. And I go, stop. <laughs> Get off the scale because it is not a good indicator of your success. Will it get to that point? Absolutely. Eventually, you're going to run out of fat to lose. You're, as a female and even as a male, there's really not so much muscle that you can gain until you have to actually start like supplementing and taking creatine and things like that to really, and lifting heavier to really bulk up and get muscle. But you will lose the weight. Eventually, the scale will go down. But it's really a short term. It's a really poor indicator. Um, the way your clothes fit is fantastic. When you take your jeans out of the dryer that normally when you take them out, you're like you're laying on the bed trying to button them up and you put them on out of the dryer and they actually feel, hey, these aren't so bad. That's a good indicator. Measurements. Your measurements are a phenomenal way to really see how your body is changing. So we will post, um, Nicola, if you could post in the challenge group the measurement tally sheet. Um, you will measure your biceps, you'll measure your abdomen, you'll measure your thighs, um, and then you'll calculate the full number, and once you calculate it all, and then at the end of the program that you chose to do, you measure them all again, you're like, for me, country heat, I lost seven and a half total inches in my body. So, that is the best way to notice it, and my weight, I lost two, no, no, I lost, let's see, I lost nine inches and seven and a half pounds. Um, so 
the weight, and I know in the beginning, the first two weeks, I didn't see as much of a drop as I did towards the end, but still, I don't want you guys to be thrown off with your mindset because of the scale. I think that's the biggest thing, is it messes up our mindset. We think we're not making progress, and so we go and we give in to splurge, or we give up, or we don't try as hard. Because, I mean, seeing a great number on the scale improves your mindset, right? But I can't guarantee that's gonna happen in the first seven days, and I don't want you guys to lose a, a fierce mindset. I want you guys to attack these workouts. I want you to plan ahead with your nutrition. And I want you guys to know that if you consistently do the right activities over a long period of time, you will get to your goals. And I want this to be sustainable. I don't want you guys to not be able to live life. You need to be able, you need to, be able to go to a birthday party and make a decision. You know what? I am going to have a slice of cake about this big. That's what I'm going to have. And that's all I'm going to have. Or you know what? I don't like that cake, so I'm not going to have it. It's okay. It's weird how we eat things we don't even really even like just because it's there. Um, so make those decisions and make this sustainable. Let's have fun and enjoy and support one another and stay involved in the group. So it's 10 o'clock at night. Let's go get some sleep because that's important too. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a great night and I will see you on Monday. Good night. Bye.